Hey. Hey. I'm glad you came with me. I'm sorry. I know you're so uncomfortable, but you have to wear these big boy clothes, okay? What can you do to to dress them up, sweetie? John would have called this outfit a torture device. (laughs) I think Dad would call it respectful. Hey, do you know where that hat is? You know, it just seems to calm him down. He likes to look at you. You little mess. Hey, buddy. Can you clear this hat? Yes. Thomas, John, please don't grow up to be a policeman, all right? We're going to get through this. Together. As a family, you know? Welcome home, Pa. (laughs) Grandpa, you made it. We're gone for like ever. I'm not quite sure felt like it, though. Here. Give you Grandpa a hug. Careful, son. I won't break. Kevin, good to see you. Well, it's good to see you too, Grandpa. We really missed you. Son, glad to see you back home, Pa. Here you go. Hey, son. Welcome home. It's about damn time. <laughs> The suspicion, the condemnation. Oh, getting claustrophobia attacks in my own office. I have to take my car to the park. Wendy, if you think you are stealing my shoes. David? Uh. Hey. Hi. Um, Natalie, you gotta get dressed. John's funeral's in less than an hour. Make a toast. Without bourbon. Remember what the doctor said, sir. Alcohol is strictly verboten from now on. Are you happy with your job, Nigel? Is that a trick question, sir? You have health insurance, dental? I'll get the bourbon. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Where's Renee? Uh, she's upstairs getting your room ready. I'll be honest with you, boys. It was more than one night in that hospital. I wasn't too sure I'd I'd make it back here. Oh, come on, Grandpa. You aren't going anywhere. You like torturing those nurses way too much. (laughs) Yeah, Kevin's right. A lot of fight left in you, Pa. Indeed. I'm on to you. I never doubted that for an instant, sir. To the Buchanan's. Here, 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 here. here. That's what's important, Matthew. Family. (laughs) To our family. And Clint, here's to you finally wising up and dumping that she-devil Dorian Lord before she ruined your life. Dorian? What are you doing in a 
public park. Me? What are you doing here? I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I took a lot of that melatonin. Packs quite a punch, so I thought I'd come out here and get some. You aren't buying this, are you? David, you spent the night on a park bench. Technically. What? I don't understand. What happened? You you were on your way to to Hollywood to become an actor. Oh yeah, that didn't work out. What happened to the the, the casting director? What's her, what's her name? You know, yeah, the one I, who discovered you. Yeah, I called her. And? Yeah, it uh, it didn't work out. What happened? Well, I was invited up to her suite for an audition. Oh, how sweet! She uh, put a script in my hand, sat me down on the casting couch. And then she took the script out of my hand. Oh, there went your acting career. I am so sorry. Yeah, tell me about it. You know, I was willing to take one for the team, anything to get my foot in the door. You know,、mm. turns out it wasn't my foot she was interested in. No, I know what that feels like to have your hopes raised so high and then have the rug pulled out from under you. He was growing up. The girls were calling the house constantly to talk to him. Your father was scandalized. He had never heard of anything like that. Thomas was rather old-fashioned that way. <laughs> Me, I was the annoying younger brother on the extension, trying to pick up pointers. And I bet. Where are you? John's dead, and he's still going to be dead whether I go to the funeral or not. Hey, baby cakes! How come you're not dressed yet? She says she's not going. Huh? I don't see the point. The point? Snap out of it, baby! You can't skip Johnny Boy's funeral. It's just not right. I will say goodbye to John in my own time, in my own way. I don't need an audience. Oh, honey, honey, nobody's gonna be looking at you. Of course they are. Yeah, you know, I'm the grieving fiance. They're gonna be waiting for me to lose it, to pass out, throw myself in the coffin. Baby, I know how you feel, okay? And I know how hard today is going to be for you. I've been there too many times. I also know that if you don't go to John's funeral today, you will regret it for the rest of your life. <clears throat> This is a great day for all of us because we finally got Pa back home again, and it's going to be a rough day too. But、uh, since we're all together here, I think there's something that we better discuss. It's、uh, it'll have an effect on the entire Buchanan family. What's going on, Boo? Spencer Truman. That slime. What's he up to now? David Vickers thinks he was responsible for what happened up at the lodge on New Year's Eve. Bourbon. Bourbon was responsible. Well, it seemed like more than that at the time. Yeah. Well, Vickers claims that、uh, Truman has a vendetta against the Buchanans. That's what you thought all along, Paul. And according to Vickers, Truman was up to something on New Year's Eve. All right. The next day, all of a sudden, Kevin comes down sick. We find you passed out on the floor. Mr. Buchanan was never the same after that. You know, we know what he did to me. But are you saying that you think he made Grandpa sick? No, I don't know. All I'm saying is that I'm sure that Truman was up at the cabin on New Year's. Now, my question is why? Come on, Bo. Let me just enjoy being home. Well, sure, Paul. I said it's great to have you back home, but you're the one that told me that we have to get Truman before he gets us. Okay, fine. Then we'll drop it. 
I'll drop it for now. Got to get to the funeral. It was great to have you back home. Please offer Detective McBain's family my most sincere condolences. I will. Thank you. Thank you. See you, Grandpa. You know, David, it wasn't too long ago that you were ready to sell yourself to the mayor's wife as a gigolo for just a few extra bucks. Five hundred dollars. And we in the trade prefer the term escort. It would not be the first time that you have, uh, you know, grappled with some... Uh... I have told you I am making a change in my life. I want to succeed by my own merit for the first time in my life. And I think that's absolutely wonderful. Oh. I really do, but I wonder. I wonder if maybe you yourself aren't selling yourself short. Do you think I'm pricing myself too low? I think it's time for you to stop selling your soul, David. But how will you live? What will you do? I don't know. But I'll think of something I always do. Oh, maybe I should offer you your job back at Craze. No. I should talk to Vicky. I bet she'd give me a job at the Banner. She's always liked me, you know. If you are trying to tick me off, it's work. I need a job, Dorian. I want you to stay away from Vicky. Well, are you making me a counter offer? I'm just saying. Well, whatever you want to say is duly noted. All the same, I think I'm going to pay Vicky a visit. Well, she's probably at John McBain's funeral. John McBain is dead? I'm glad you're here. Well, I had to come. Not just for John. Natalie's going to need a lot of help. Yeah, she is. I'm sorry. I, I know how close you and McBain were. I'm really sorry. If there's anything I can do. I appreciate that. Hey, Dad. Can Rex sit with me? And you're going to be with your guys? Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Hey. Hey. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. I wish people would stop asking me that. Would you tell somebody if you weren't fine? I'm worried about you. I know how you felt about John. I think I'm probably one of the only people that knows just how deep that love was. I don't believe it. I mean, I just, I can't get used to the idea that he's gone. The hearse is pulled up outside. Thank you, Father. Um, Michael, you'll be following the honor guard with Bowen and Antonio. Where's Natalie? I don't know. Father, could we just wait a couple of minutes for John's fiance? Certainly. Just let me know it's your eyes. Thank you. drink to John McBain. I wasn't aware you knew him very well, sir. My granddaughter was in love with him. That's enough for me. I make this one Irish whiskey. I'm afraid we're out. That's impossible. Uh, your sons, as they say, drank you out of house and home while you were gone. Well, I don't blame them for what's been going on around here. But if you're playing tricks on me... Of course not. 
No more than you are trying to pull something over on your family. What? I've been with you for many years. I've observed you doing everything from making billion dollar deals to playing poker. And forgive me saying this, but I can tell when you're lying. The word is bluffing. I know the difference. And when Commissioner Buchanan was talking about Spencer Truman, I felt you were holding something back. There's something about New Year's Eve you don't want to discuss. That is ridiculous. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. This. I'd like to pay my respects to John's family, but mm. I got a feeling I wouldn't be welcome there. You didn't kill John's father. Spencer did. I know, but I was involved. If I didn't mess up, John's father wouldn't have had to pull his gun. Spencer wouldn't have killed him. In fact, John and Thomas McBain might be alive today. You didn't cause John's accident. Yeah, but he wouldn't have been on that road. John McBain's entire life took a different turn thanks to me. It's heartbreaking. But they say he was on his way to visit his father's grave when no, the accident happened. I'm just sick about the whole damn thing. David, you know, if your conscience is telling you that you should go to the funeral, then I, I think you should go. I think maybe you'd go with me. I don't think I could handle all those people right now. Yes, of course I'll go with you. I want to pay my respects, too. Thanks. So we're clear. You've made a promise not to ask Vicky for a job. Gee, I wonder if Clint's going to be there. What about Audrey Helena? and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercy, God of Dear, all consolation. There's my worst nightmare. He comforts us in all of our afflictions. I'm sorry, if you want to get out of here, we and can. Thus we are able to comfort those in trouble, using the same consolation that we have received from him. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. John's close friend, and mentor, Commissioner Bo Buchanan will now deliver the eulogy. When I became uh, Commissioner of Police in Lambview. I thought that I knew what 
being a cop really meant. But when I met John McBain, I had to rethink that because the job was John's life. And it wasn't just what he did, it was who he was. John's blood uh, ran blue. So, Father, when you suggest that I was John's mentor, it makes me feel just a little bit strange because I learned so much from John about police work and about the, the dogged pursuit of justice. I'm like that myself, but when I, when I see it in another man, one that I admired so much, one that I loved. It's like my son, Matthew, would say. John McBain was awesome. I was proud to call him my friend. We all were. And I think that we should be grateful that we had him in our lives as long as we did. Because John McBain was a true hero. But he wasn't without his little quirks. I'm sure that uh, it's no secret that sometimes our John had a little, a little trouble expressing, expressing himself. <laughs> he was a man of few words, but he said a lot. He spoke with deeds and actions. And those deeds and those actions meant more to the people of Landview and to his, his friends and his family, his loved ones, than, than any words could ever possibly express. And if John McBain loved you, you knew it. I bless the body of John McBain with the holy water that recalls his baptism. For if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. On the day of Christ's return, may he be clothed in glory. Let us depart in peace to love and serve the Lord. Now. Before we reconvene at Mount Hope Cemetery for the graveside service, John's brother would like to say something. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for coming here today to support my family show your respect to my brother after the cemetery um, we're going to be gathering at roadies in Landview the repass we'd like you all to come
Mrs. McBain. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say how sorry I am for your loss. This is David Vickers, Spencer Truman's little brother. I know I'm in God's house, but I'm sorry. I can't say that I'm happy to meet you. Wait, Mrs. McBain. I understand, and I don't mean to intrude. But I want you to know that I felt guilty my entire life for what I thought I had done to your husband, your father. And if it weren't for your son, I would have gone to my grave thinking that I was a killer. John, give me a second chance. I just want to say thank you. Vickers, I feel guts for you to show up here today. You know, John really loved you. Oh, I know he would be very proud to know that that's what you feel about him. I hope he did know. Look, maybe, uh, maybe we can talk later on, okay? I'd like that. All right. I'm very, very proud of you. I know how hard this is. I could just, just make it until they bury John. my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me for all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Of the Commonwealth of the State of Pennsylvania and the Landview City Police Department, I present you with this flag that your son so proudly served.
The pipes, the pipes are calling. From Glen to Glen and down. Mountain side, the summer's gone, and all the roses falling. It's you, it's you must go, and I must buy. But come here. Don't worry, Jim. I'll finish what you started. Spencer won't get away. I'll try to be half the copy warmer. You saved my life just in peace, my friend. I won't forget it. I'm sorry I gave you a hard time. I was just looking out for my kid. But you're a great guy. I told you and Sam that I love them and that I miss them. I'm gonna miss you too, John. And this really, really sucks. Rest in peace, John. You earned it. Oh, daddy boy, I love you so. Don't worry about Natty. I'll look after her. She'll be okay. I'll make sure of it. There's more you tread above me. And all my grave shall warm a sweet of me. For you will bend and tell me that you.
on the next One Life to Live. What is it? The guy knows who set me up. I want to live here with you. And I want to marry you. You have to move on. Okay.